beheld a wise woman who had built her house. She feared the Lord and walked in the right hand. Men of the Father, and of the Son, and of the Holy Spirit. Amen. The grace of our Lord Jesus Christ, and the love of God, and the communion of the Holy Spirit be with you all. And with your spirit. Brothers and sisters, let us acknowledge our sins, and so prepare ourselves to celebrate the sacred mysteries. You were sent to heal the contrite of heart. Lord, have mercy. Lord, have mercy. You came to call sinners. Christ, have mercy. Christ, have mercy. You intercede for us at the right hand of the Father. Lord, have mercy. Lord, have mercy. May Almighty God have mercy on us, forgive us our sins, and bring us to everlasting life. Amen. Let us pray. O God, who crowned with the gift of true faith, St. Elizabeth Ann Seton's burning zeal to find you, grant by her intercession an example that we may always seek you with diligent love and find you in daily service with sincere faith. Through our Lord Jesus Christ, your Son, who lives and reigns with you in the unity of the Holy Spirit, one God forever and ever. reading from the first letter of St. John. Children, let no one deceive you. The person who acts in righteousness is righteous, just as he is righteous. Whoever sins belongs to the devil, because the devil has sinned from the beginning. Indeed, the Son of God was revealed to destroy the words of the devil. No one who is begotten by God commits sin, because God's seed remains in him. He cannot sin because he is begotten by God. In this way, the children of God and the children of the devil are made plain. No one who fails to act in righteousness belongs to God, nor anyone who does not love his brother. The word of the Lord. Thank you, God. A responsorial song. All the ends of the earth have seen the saving power of God. All, All the ends, ends of the earth have seen, seen the saving, saving power of God. <clears throat> sing to the Lord a new song, for he has done wondrous deeds. His right hand has won victory for him, his holy arm. All, All the ends, ends of the earth have seen the saving power of God. God. Let the sea and what fills it resound, the world and those who dwell in it. Let the rivers clap their hands, the mountains, Shout with them for joy before the Lord. All, All the ends of the earth have seen the same power of God. The Lord comes. He comes to rule the earth. He will rule the world with justice and the peoples with equity. All, All the ends of the earth have seen the same power of God. Hallelujah, hallelujah. Hallelujah, hallelujah. In the past, God spoke to our ancestors through the prophets. In these last days, he has spoken to us through the Son. Hallelujah, hallelujah. The Lord be with you. And with your spirit. A reading from the Holy Gospel according to John. Glory to you, Lord. John was standing with two of his disciples, and as he watched Jesus walked by, he said, Behold the Lamb of God. The two disciples heard what he said and followed Jesus. Jesus turned and saw them following him and said to them, What are you looking for? They said to him, Rabbi, which translated means teacher, where are you staying? He said to them, Come, and you will see. So they went and saw where he was staying, and they stayed with him that day. It was about four in the afternoon. Andrew, the brother of Simon Peter, 
was one of the two who heard John and followed Jesus. He first found his own brother Simon and told him, We have found the Messiah, which is translated Christ. Then he brought him to Jesus. Jesus looked at him and said, You are Simon, the son of John. You will be called Cephas, which is translated Peter. The Gospel of the Lord. Good morning. Good morning. Elizabeth Ann Bailey Seaton was born August 28, 1774, in New York City, a true daughter of the American Revolution. At 19, she married William Seaton. Together, they had five children. At the age of 30, she became a widow when, when William died uh, suddenly. Elizabeth herself died on January the 4th, 1821. She was the first American-born saint, and she was canonized in 1975. After she became a widow, she went on to found the Sisters of Charity, the first American religious community. She opened the first American parish school and established the first American Catholic orphanage. In her life, her two great devotions that led her to sainthood were first abandonment to the will of God. In her own words, the first end I propose in our daily work is to do the will of God. Secondly, to do it in the manner that he wills it. And thirdly, to do it because he wills it. Her second devotion was an ardent love for the Blessed Sacrament, which we are about to celebrate. Again, in her words, God is everywhere in the very air that I breathe. Yes, everywhere. But in his sacrament of the altar, he is present, actually and really, as my soul within my body. Her sound advice and solid teaching about God and his plan are summed up in one final quote, and this is by far my favorite. We must often draw the comparison between time and eternity. This is the remedy for all our troubles. How small will the present moment appear when we enter that great ocean? In our short time on this earth, it is but a blink of an eye compared to the eternity that we will spend with God. If we, like St. Elizabeth Seton, conform ourselves to the will and way that God leads us. May the peace of Christ be with you always. Coming together as one family of faith, let us offer to God our prayers and our needs. We pray for our Holy Father, for our Archbishop, for all priests, religious brothers, sisters, permanent deacons, and seminarians. We pray to the Lord. Lord, we hear our prayer. We pray for those who are sick or suffering in any way this day. We especially remember those in hospitals, nursing homes, the homebound, and the homeless. We pray to the Lord. Lord, we pray for the needs of those who will watch this Mass on video today. We pray to the Lord. Lord, we pray for the needs of you here present this morning. We pray to the Lord. Lord, we pray. And we finally pray this Mass in memory of the intentions we made spiritually as we've begun this new year. We pray to the Lord. Lord, we pray. Offering all our prayers to the Father, let us conclude with the prayer in honor of the Blessed Trinity. Glory be to the Father, and to the Son, and to the Holy Spirit, as it was in the beginning, is now, and ever shall be, world without end. Amen.
Blessed are you, Lord, God of all creation, for through your goodness we have received the bread we offer you, fruit of the earth and work of human hands, it will become for us the bread of life. Let's speak Blessed are you, Lord, God of all creation, for through your goodness we have received the wine we offer you, fruit of the vine and work of human hands, it will become our spiritual drink. Pray, brothers and sisters, that my sacrifice and yours may be acceptable to God, the Almighty Father. May the Lord accept the sacrifice of your name, for the praise and glory of his name, for our good and good of all the Son of the Church. O Lord, we ask that you look graciously upon the gifts placed on your altar in celebration of St. Elizabeth and Seton, and grant by the power at work in this sacrifice that we may be more deeply inserted into the mystery of your Son, who lives and reigns forever and ever. Amen. The Lord be with you. And with your spirit. Lift up your hearts. Lift them up to the Lord. Let us give thanks to the Lord our God. It is right and just. It is truly right and just, our duty and our salvation, always and everywhere to give you thanks, Lord, Holy Father, Almighty and Eternal God, through Christ our Lord. For through him, the holy exchange that restores our life is shown forth today in splendor. When our frailty is assumed by your word, not only does human mortality receive unending honor, but by this wondrous union, we too are made eternal. And so in company with the choirs of angels, we praise you, and with joy we proclaim. Holy, 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 holy Lord, God, God of hosts, heaven and, and earth are full of your glory, Hosanna in the highest. Blessed is he who comes in the name of the Lord. Hosanna in the highest. You are indeed holy, O Lord, the font of all holiness. Make holy, therefore, these gifts we pray by sending down your spirit upon them like the dewfall, so that they may become for us the body and blood of our Lord Jesus Christ. At the time he was betrayed and entered willingly into his passion. He took bread and, giving thanks, broke it, and gave it to his disciples, saying, Take this, all of you, and eat of it, for this is my body, which will be given up for you. In a similar way, when supper was ended, he took the chalice, and once more giving thanks, he gave it to his disciples, saying, Take this, all of you, and drink from it, for this is the chalice of my blood, the blood of the new and eternal covenant, which will be poured out for you and for many for the forgiveness of sins. Do this in memory of me. The mystery of faith. Save us, Savior of the world, for by your cross and resurrection you have set us free. Therefore, as we celebrate the memorial of his death and resurrection, we offer you, Lord, the bread of life and the chalice of salvation, giving thanks that you have held us worthy to be in your presence and minister to you. Humbly we pray that partaking of the body and blood of Christ, we may be gathered into one by the Holy Spirit. Remember, Lord, your church spread throughout the world and bring her to the fullness of charity, together with Francis, our Pope, and Thomas, our Bishop, and all the clergy. Remember also our brothers and sisters who have fallen asleep in the hope of the resurrection and all who have died in your mercy. Welcome them into the light of your face. Have mercy on us all, we pray that with the blessed Virgin Mary, Mother of God, the blessed Joseph, her spouse, with the blessed apostles, and all the saints who have pleased you throughout the ages, we may merit to be co-heirs to eternal life, 
and may praise and glorify you through your Son, Jesus Christ. Through him and with him and in him, O God, Almighty Father, in the unity of the Holy Spirit, all glory and honor is yours forever and ever. Amen. At the Savior's command, informed by divine teaching, we dare to say, Our Father, who art in heaven, hallowed be thy name. Thy kingdom come, thy will be done, on earth as it is in heaven. Give us this day our daily bread, and forgive us our trespasses, as we forgive those who trespass against us. And lead us not into temptation, but deliver us from evil. Deliver us, Lord, we pray, from every evil. Graciously grant peace in our days, that by the help of your mercy we may be always free from sin and safe from all distress. So we await the blessed hope and the coming of our Savior, Jesus Christ. For the kingdom and the power and the glory of the Lord Jesus. Lord Jesus Christ, who said to your apostles, Peace I leave you, my peace I give you. Live not on our sins, but on the faith of your church, and graciously grant her peace and unity in accordance with your will, who live and reign forever and ever. Amen. The peace of the Lord be with you always. And with your spirit. Let us offer each other the sign of peace. Lamb of God, you take away the sins of the world. Have mercy on us. Lamb of God, you take away the sins of the world. Have mercy on us. Lamb of God, you take away the sins of the world. Grant us peace. <coughs> Behold the Lamb of God, behold him who takes away the sins of the world. Blessed are those called to the supper of the Lamb. Lord,
Let us pray. As we partake of the sacrament of our salvation, we, while recalling the memory of St. Elizabeth Ann Seton, we humbly ask you, O Lord, that we may be inflamed with a burning desire for the heavenly table, and by its power consecrate our life faithfully to you, through Christ our Lord. Amen. The Lord be with you. And with your spirit. And may Almighty God bless you, Father and Son and the Holy Spirit. Amen. The Mass is ended. Go in peace. Thanks be to God. Prayer to St. Michael. Holy Michael the Archangel, defend us in battle. Be our protection against the wickedness and snares of the devil. May God rebuke him, we humbly pray. And do you, O Prince of the Heavenly Host, by the divine power, thrust into hell, Satan and all the other evil spirits who wander through the world seeking the ruin of souls. Amen. The divine praises. Blessed be God. Blessed be His holy name. Blessed be Jesus Christ, true God and true man. Blessed be the name of Jesus. Blessed be His most sacred heart. Blessed be His most precious blood. Blessed be Jesus in the most holy sacrament of the altar. Blessed be the Holy Spirit, the Consoler. Blessed be the Great Mother of God, Mary Most Holy. Blessed be her holy and immaculate conception. Blessed be her glorious assumption. Blessed be the name of Mary, Virgin and Mother. Blessed be Saint Joseph, her most chaste spouse. Blessed be God and his angels and in his saints. 